Tierra here with Gypsy Fate Creations. Thanks for tuning in. Today is a holiday soap inspired by sugar plums and gumdrops. The little gumdrop embeds that I made happened by accident. I was making decorations for another Christmas soap and got this idea and so happy with it. They turned out really cute. But for now, let's get started and make a sugar plum gumdrop soap. solution into the oils and give this a mix. I also put in some buttermilk powder and some kaolin clay in there. I've had a couple people ask me if I do vegan soaps because of the buttermilk that's in here. I do plan on using up this buttermilk. I've had another request because their son was allergic to um, dairy products to make a soap without it and I'm going to switch it up since I'm running out of it I want to try a new additive anyway I'm going to be adding some coconut milk to my recipes from now on um, be a couple soaps out but it's something to look forward to <laughs> all right let's give this a mix all right so I've got that incorporated and so I'm going to split this up into three different colors I chose like purple, pink, and gold for the inside. I'll show you those colors. So we've got some orchid purple mica from Nurtures. I've got some Fandango pink from Nurtures. And then in here is some Maya gold mica that I'm going to do a drop swirl with this. And then I'm going to do an in the pot swirl with the, the pink and purple colors. Fragrance. Fragrance I'm using is called Sugar Plum from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and it is a fresh sweetened plum sprinkled with orange zest, cloudberry, vanilla, and sugared musk. It has 1% vanillin in it. It wasn't a lot, which I was really surprised because a lot of the Sugar Plum's um, fragrances that I was looking for had a lot of vanillin in it, and I'm like, that's just what I need, a brown Sugar Plum soap. All right, so let's split this up and add our purple into here. I think I'm going to add a little bit more to the pink. And now our purple. And we'll mix each one of these up, stir in the fragrance, and then we'll start pouring. Start with the gold. So let's add our pink to our purple. I'm going to scrape this out. I'm going to pour this in and then I'll start adding the gold to it. This smells so good. I can't even describe it. It's, it kind of reminds me of candy. But it's very perfumey at the same time. I'm trying to, I don't know, berry pink candy. It smells good. It's not really Christmassy, but I don't think Sugar Plum has to be for Christmas. Alright, let's pour it into our mold. Give it a little swirly in there. It's behaving really well too. It's staying very fluid. Alright, pouring about that much. And then go in for a drop swirl with our gold. Add in the rest of this. The rest of our gold. Pour this one like way up high. And so now I'll scrape each one of these out and I'm going to get the icing together. The icing is going to be white. I've got some different embeds here. So these are little candy pieces that I colored in pink. And then I've got some gumdrops that 
our soap dough rolled into colored Epsom salts and I thought they just looked so realistic looking. And these are what gave me the inspiration for the soap. All right, let's get the piping this. I am using a 1M, I will leave the link to the tip below, because I really want this to look like a dessert. So I'm gonna try piping on just the bottom layer and then do some different designs on the top with the same tip and see if I can get what I have in my head. <laughs> Delicious smelling. This is so good. It smells like a like ye fruity, yummy scent. I just can't get over how awesome this smells. And I'm not into fruity, sweet scents at all. But this smells so good. I could only imagine using this all year round. But this is great for a sugar plum soap if you guys are interested in making your own. I highly recommend it. It performed beautifully. Now I'll let you know after cure what it smells like. I'm hoping that the scent, you know, is retained in there and that it stays just as strong. But so far I'm loving it. All right. Refill my icing bag here. And think about how I want to do this next part. Let's see if I can do something like that. That is what I'm thinking. That's going to look delicious. Alright, so in the Garnet video, I showed you guys the results of my 23andMe that Bradley bought me for my birthday. And it did say that I was some Irish. Happy to report, because <laughs> Ireland is my favorite place in the whole world. We've gone a couple times. And I've just always loved Ireland ever since I was a little girl. It's, there's something about it that I was just drawn to, even though I had never been there. So now that I can officially say that I am 30% European, Irish, <laughs> Bradley and I went to our local fairgrounds and we, we, we had a great day at an Irish festival. It is the Maryland um, Irish Festival and they have it every year in November. And we've gone a couple times to it and I, it was, it's a little expensive to get in. It's like $20 to get in, which is a little, a little much because once you get in there and you buy your drinks and your food and your souvenirs, you're like broke. <laughs> But we decided to go just to give it another chance. They have one of my favorite dogs there. My dream dog is an Irish Wolfhound and any of the people who own an Irish Wolfhound can go and get in for free and just show off their dogs. And I just love these dogs. They are giant, like furry monsters, but they're not. They're the most gentlest creatures ever. And I really, really want one. And unfortunately, they only live for like eight years just because they're so big. They're like one of the biggest dogs in the world. Um, so I got to, got to say hi to some of those and take my pictures with them. And as we were doing that, they had other dogs there. They had um, Newfoundlands and they had some Greyhounds. And when we were looking at those dogs, we ran into somebody we knew. And it is a friend's mom who was, who was there, and she basically said that her whole entire family runs the Irish Festival every year, and they work there behind the bars. So they have lots of Irish bars from Guinness to Magners. Um, I forget some of the other ones because I don't really drink those ones. And so she got us behind the bar to hang out with her and her family and pretty much just gave us anything that we wanted, which... If you buy a beer or a drink at this festival, it's six dollars a pop, <laughs> so it can get a little pricey. So we were very thankful to run into Miss Rita, and she really made our time there very enjoyable. She was a lot of fun. Um, there was lots of vendors there. There was different Irish made. Um, clothing items and food. We've got some scones. They had like different sandwiches so we ate a lot <laughs> and Shopped a lot. I have to show you some of the things that we bought. We, we uh, ran into one of Rita's cousins who has a shop that's local and they do a lot of 
um, craft stuff and so she had the silk silk um, like marbleized scarves so that you can whoops that you can design yourself so we got to do that that, that was the first time that I ever got to try anything like that so that was a lot of fun and yeah we stayed for a good a good couple hours so it was worth it this time <laughs> we'll have to go back again next year all right so I've got everything on here that I want and I'm just going to sprinkle on some of these colored Epsom salts that were from the gumdrops that I used and they kind of just look like sugar little colored sugars and they just tie everything in and I'll probably put a little bit of glitter on there and I'll let this sit for 24 hours and I'll come back and cut it and we'll see what the inside looks like. I got a new purchase at the Irish Festival because it had different teapots and teas. I got this tea strainer and you guys have seen me use mica lines inside of soaps and I have like a very large looking one of these and this I thought was the perfect little size to just put some in there and just shake it around so three dollars and fifty cents at the Irish Festival I gotta say it was worth it. <laughs> right, let's put a little bit of glitter on here, some snowflake sparkle and let it sit. Come back and cut it. Give it a little spray, the isopropyl alcohol and voila. Look how pretty that came out. This is beautiful. Gorgeous. But let's see what the inside looks like. Ooh. Let's see. I think I need to cut it on its side because of all the salt's on the top. Yep. Salt. Let's try it on the side then. Alright. I was talking about the Irish festival that we went to. Which was amazing. Try and cut this on the side. It's gonna be hard. No, I don't think I can. Mm. Because it's too tall. Too tall. So, oh, oh well. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> um, I was naming some of the things that they had there. I didn't mention they had Irish dancing and yeah. music, like bands there, lots of bagpipes. Oh yeah. And I didn't realize how popular Irish dancing is for like little girls. Well, they're little boys too. Yeah, there's boys. But, well, not as many, but yes, there are. But there's like competitions and they travel around and... Yeah, it's wild. And I didn't know that was a thing here in the U.S. Like, what are you throwing? A stone. I'm like playing with a stone right now. <laughs> See, the next time I invite you into one of my videos again, Bradley, like, throwing stones at me. I'm playing with an Irish stone. And I dropped it oh. into the sink. So yes. But I've never met anyone who's like, oh yeah, my kid does competitions in Irish dancing. Yeah. It smells so good. Such a pretty soap. It looks like a dessert. It does. It's so sweet. Especially okay. the gumdrops on top. I just want to take a bite. Yeah. There's a sugar... Plum Fair, is it the Nutcracker? Isn't mm. that what they called it? There's a Nutcracker movie out. There is. I'm really bad at this. Yeah. We don't go to the It movies. just came out, right? Yeah. Um, I want to see it. Yeah, we saw the preview when we went to go see the Queen movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it has Kira Knightley in it, and I think that's one of the main reasons why I want to see it. But it looks really pretty. We'll have to wait till that comes out, obviously, to see it. But I'll add that to our Christmas movie marathon. At our very specific movie theater. <laughs> the couch. <laughs> that's AKA that. That's where I'm going with the that. Couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. New to the channel? Don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you all have a very nice day, and I will smell you later.
course. That belongs in the Hayes house, I think, right here. It's big. Cool. Big old book. I should have gotten a picture of third sent it to everyone in the office. Look at all that. That's cool. So that, that's cool. Meanwhile, shopping for the Hayes house. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take one of each. Actually, I don't really care for this one. But He's, look, this is like... That's for Halloween. Yeah. This is like all of the different seasons. Of yeah. Here, like spring and summer and fall and winter. <laughs> oh, I like, I like this one. Of course. Winter, yeah, look at that. Look at the and look, they even do the ages. He's young. See, he's young. He's a young man. He's a little bit older, right? He's very wise here. Yeah, he's old man winter. And he's ready to go, right? <laughs> oh, that's too good. Yeah! Who's that? Oh, yes. <laughs> Be aggressive, Tierra. <laughs> Tierra Bay. Tierra. Right? Tierra. Okay. I was going to Tierra. I thought you got that one wrong. Did you see these? Look at these. It's bath bomb and bubble bit. Oh, she makes those too. I know. I was just going to show her. I was looking at them. Yeah. That's cute. Bath bomb and. There's like a name for that. I forgot what they call them. It's like a fizz or something like that. I can't remember what they call it. Oh, yeah. She got one from a friend the other day that was a, a cauldron and it had like soap in it, like, like a bath oh, bomb cauldron. Cute. That is a man. Who ever thought of that as a genius? When did your class Too much fun. Figure Man, that is killer. That's a black Look at that. Yes. That is the prettiest thing I've seen. Really good work. <laughs>